Our esteemed guests from Clean Foundation, from the Swiss Embassy, from UNODP, from DFID Adieu for all. Very good morning. Before I go on to launch the two very important uh, books before us. Let me thank first and foremost our critics and in particular those engaged in constructive criticism. Criticisms that had to do with the conduct of our personnel, conduct that ought to be in compliance with the provisions of the law, and as you may be aware, some have not been encouraging at all. And the effects of those violations of human rights by police Among them, let me highlight a few of them. One, they erode public confidence in the police. Two, they isolate the police. Three, they hamper effective prosecution of cases. They also lead to delay and denial of justice, among others. It is in our efforts to arrest these situations or these forms of misconduct that it has become necessary for us to launch the Human Rights Practice Manual as well as the desk officer's manual of guidance. The comprehensive, systematic, and institutional compliance with international human rights and practices in the conduct of police or law enforcement function, <clears throat> otherwise conceptualized as human rights-based policing, not only fundamental in policy, but indeed the founding purpose and global standard of modern police service. The Nigeria Police Force has obligation to respect, protect, and fulfill human rights. This is more so as our policy requirements and mission have of necessity gone beyond the traditional law enforcement into incorporating responsibilities of rendering community and citizen support, as well as development services within the purview of the law. On assumption of duty as the Inspector General of Police, I assured Nigerians and the people living in Nigeria of my determination to create a safe and secure environment for all by leading the Nigeria Police Force in engineering and participating in endeavors to address the root causes of crime in Nigeria. And that while in pursuit of these objectives, I said that I would at all times uphold the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and protect human rights. Publishing the Nigeria Human Rights Practice Manual is a strategic step towards mainstreaming human rights in our operations and administration at all levels in furtherance of the vision of the force. The manual is accompanied by a human rights desk officer's guidance detailing processes of administration of this manual. The manual is 
presented in four sections and an annexed chart. Section 1 highlights the purpose and rationale of the manual, espouses constitutional and legal basis of human rights protection, standards for conduct and attributes of a police officer vis-a-vis -vis the essence of respect for human rights and the effect of violation. Section 2 deals with the concept, context, and requirements of human rights-based policy. Section 3 presents international human rights standards for good conduct by police officers. Section 4 captures guidelines for selected police intervention and an extra of the use of force uh, continuum. In furtherance of our obligations to international best practices, conventions and instruments on policing and human rights observances, and in tune with the transformation program of the government, it is rather apt that this document is a modest initiative that was effectively embraced and implemented will elevate professional com competencies in the application of human rights-based approaches to policy and also in engendering community. I present to you a copy each of this manual. One is the Human Rights Practice Manual. Accompanying it is the Human Rights Desk Officers Manual Practice. I thank you very much. program that I work in in relation to the policing side. Um, we have been working for the last five years in partnership with the NPF. And all of the stuff that we have been doing with that are all certified as human rights compliant. And we have received excellent and unstinting support from the NPF. And it has been a pleasure and a privilege to work with them, both at the state level with the development of modern police stations, but also at the federal level in relation to accountability and in relation to the uh, federal strategies. Um, we commend this initiative. The work that's gone on with the NPF uh, in the modern police station, this sits very well with that. And I commend the I, I, and, and I um, uh, uh, give thanks to the IGP and to all the officers uh, who have been working with us and commend this initiative um, uh, to uh, everyone. Thank you. My name is Pascal Holliger from the Embassy of Switzerland, and I bring you the greetings of His Excellency Ambassador Hans Rudolf Pado, who is unfortunately out of the country. Um, the Swiss Embassy has been working with the Nigeria Police Force over the past four years on a variety of different activities related to the upholding and respect of human rights. We can only highly commend and thank you for this initiative. We are so glad that so early in your tenure, Inspector General, you are placing human rights at the core of the Nigeria Police Force activities. In furtherance of the work that has been achieved in, the, in recent years towards a people's friendly police that enjoys the respect and the credibility of all the citizens that it is policing and that will enjoy, in, by way of return, the confidence and the assistance to try and deal with some of the issues that Nigeria is facing, particularly in this present time. We have long had bilateral relationships with the government of Nigeria, and the work with the Nigeria Police Force has always formed the centerpiece of these bilateral relations in the field of human rights. We are committed and I reiterate this commitment to you, Inspector General, to providing any form of cooperation that you so require, that you so request, in support of your noble efforts. We are also working closely with DIG Agungu training uh, to further some of the uh, activities and documents that we are developing in terms of human rights training at the level of police training institutions. And so we see that as a perfect complement to ensure that at all levels we achieve a common goal of enhanced policing in Nigeria. So with these few words, uh, rest assured of our total commitment and uh, thank you once more for this invitation and for this initiative.